Hey guys, today we got the 2022 Forest River Cherokee 324 TS. This camper is at 40 feet 5 inches, 8 feet wide, uh, gross vehicle weight of 11,365 pounds, dry weight of 8,603 pounds. Uh, this is a bunkhouse camper, be able to take uh, you, your, you, your significant other, as well as all the kids and family. Uh, let's take a walk around it, see what we got going on in here. Ready? Here we are on the walkthrough of the Cherokee 324 TS uh, 2022 model. Uh, big bunkhouse camper. You're at 40 foot on this camper, so you're, of course, when you're going on this one, long trips. Uh, you can go to a lot of the national forests and everything with this one. Uh, but let's take a walk around it. So here we are under the awning of the 324 TS. Of course, they got the nice bull ride steps. Uh, Cherokee likes to do the nice uh, glass doors on here. Uh, right here behind me, of course, you're, we're underneath the awning. They got the nice blue strip, a lighting, speakers underneath of here, and you can bring your TV right underneath so you can uh, watch TV, watch the football game, anything you got going on out here. So, of course, because this is a bunkhouse and you're going to have your kids with you, of course, they're going to get out, go out, get into the creek, get muddy, play with the dog. You have access to the bathroom right here so they can run right in go to the bathroom, run right back out, and not track mud all over your camper and cause your wife to have a, a conniption when they have to clean the camper nine times. So, moving right over here to the outside kitchen, you have uh, two refrigerators, one for the kids' Kool-Aid, uh, one for the adults' Kool-Aid. Uh, nice little uh, ice maker, cabinetry, outside grill with a black stone on it. Uh, of course, you'll need to season it so that way your bacon tastes good and not like uh, chemicals because it's brand new and nice little storage over here nice little outside kitchen and of course you're under the nice big awning so if it does rain you're still cooking so here we are in the inside of the Cherokee 324 TS as soon as you walk in of course you walk into the main uh, living area here uh, got kitchen countertop here on the left hand side nice big one basin sink with the cover to help extend that out um, Cherokee does it real nice with that black stainless steel and they keep that stainless black stainless steel look going throughout. Um, nice little evacuation fan for when you burn that grilled cheese for the kids. Um, nice little microwave, black stainless steel, um, 12 volt refrigerator. So as soon as the battery is on while you're going down the road, it's cooling and everything ready to go. Um, nice little uh, three burner cooktop there. Uh, nice little oven. Kitchen overall is very nice and plenty of lighting. We got a little bit of it turned off so the camera doesn't get oversaturated. Uh, nice little skylight here to let natural light in and everything. Great little uh, kitchen area here. Over here you got your entertainment center. Nice little fireplace down at the bottom. Uh, it will put out some heat, but of course you still have the 20,000 BTU furnace underneath. But when it gets down to about 60 degrees and you just want to sit by the fire, um, you know, have some alone time with the wife, drink some wine, have a nice little fireplace to set the mood. Uh, up here you have the TV and everything. Of course you have a nice little spot for the Xbox for when you want to entertain your kid. Over here you have a high, uh, nice little sofa that folds down into a bed with storage underneath. So when the kids have a bunch of people over, a little bit more place to sleep. Nice big U-shaped dinette so when you're sitting around the uh, table here eating with the family, uh, eating your uh, grilled cheese and tomato soup, everybody can sit down and eat. Or when you're playing euchre with everybody, uh, you got a nice big place to do it and never, nobody can look at each other's cards. Here we are on the inside of the, night of the bathroom that has access to the outside so when your kids track mud in, of course they're only doing it into their one door not throughout the main side of the camper so your wife's not cleaning every camping trip. Um, nice bath or nice toilet access there so you're not cramped in it or anything decent sized shower uh, for any of the people that are a little bit size inclined and of course your vanity and um, sink there so that way you can brush your teeth and everything and do your makeup so you look uh, nice and pretty for your night out over here we got a nice little pantry so that way you can hide all your tomato soup and grilled cheese ingredients uh, as well as all the kids toys and a couple little xbox games so that way if you get tired of call of duty you can play doom here we are in the main attraction of the bunkhouse, uh, being the bunk room. has one big slide. On the bottom here, you have a nice little couch uh, that folds out into a, like a, uh, as a futon into a nice little bed. 
uh, stays in the couch so that way you can put a TV over here and an Xbox so the kids can practice playing uh, Call of Duty or Doom to try to beat dad later on in the day. Of course, they're never going to be able to do that because dad's an expert. Um, but on top of there, you have a nice little bed. Uh, just pull the pin, folds it down, nice little twin bed up here. And of course, you have that nice little fold, uh, futon bed down there. Uh, window, emergency exit there, right across from it. You have a nice little twin bed up here. Stairs to get up there. I would make sure they're not sitting on that vent so that way they break it. But their kids, of course, they will. Um, and then, of course, cabinetry over here. So that way you can, uh, they can hold all their clothes and everything while they're going camping. But like I said, this is kind of the main attraction of the bunkhouse. Um, plenty of storage, plenty of space. They have their own air conditioner. Um, awesome little area for the kids to hang out and stay out of mom and dad's hair. All right, so this is the master bedroom in the 324 TS. Uh, nice big room, uh, nice big queen bed. And of course, you have plenty of access on both sides to be able to walk around. Uh, nice little uh, cabinetry there for you to be able to mount a TV on the wall, as well as overhead cabinetry for you to uh, store a lot of stuff in. You have plenty of uh, space up here above the bed as well. Put more stuff in, any kind of uh, accessories you might bring with you. Um, cabinetry on each side and of course right behind me you have big wardrobes plenty of storage in the nose of course it's uh with cherokee they like to do black cabinetry so it's a little bit dark for the camera i assume but plenty of space i mean it's as deep as my arm so a lot of space in there for you and then of course right here you have the nice big closet and in this camper if i remember correctly you can get it washer dryer prepped so if you would like to put a washer and dryer here in here, you can. If not, just an awesome big closet for you to be able to hang uh, in your uh, nice Hawaiian shirts or anything like that for you to go to Margaritaville. Anybody has nice strobe lighting on the outside of their camper. Thanks for walking through the uh, 2022 Cherokee 324TS. Uh, as you can see, I'm rocking the new shirt that we have here. Uh, we partnered with the Ohio State uh, Department of Natural Resources. So we have these new shirts that uh, help represent that. Uh, you're going to kind of see us there at, at every state park around the state of Ohio. Uh, you can check out a little bit more information about that on our website, as well as you can see a little bit more walkthroughs of a couple of different more floor plans on YouTube, Facebook. Uh, check us out. Give me a call. My name is Dalton Owen. Hope to see you.